Thanks for the ride. Oh. All right, guys, good morning. Today, we're in London. So today we are on a mission to find a very particular line. Yep, which is why we are at the National Maritime Museum. So these look like some pretty old sextants, but it's kind of amazing how many other forms of navigation there are here. Weird clocks and compasses and rulers and a rocket ship. Yeah, what is that? That looks like something you drag through the water. Maybe like it's a knot log, I think. Drag it through the water, it spins and it tells you how many miles have gone through the water. It is one of the largest, I, I think it actually might be the largest maritime museum in the world. It has over two million objects on display. Uh, from navigational instruments to sextants to uh, models of ships and it also is where the Meridian Line is. So the Meridian Line is that, li that longitude line that runs from South Pole to North Pole and here where we are right now is the zero degree line. So it's really cool. Uh, we're just gonna walk around and trying to find that line. There's a map in here but I don't think that's the right line because it's it's more of a very thin pencil line so i'm pretty sure there's something else what do you think so far that thing looks like a rocket ship from some cartoon how is that even that is incredible that looks terrifying This thing's intense. Uh, it was designed by a guy named Scott Payne and almost 1933, I think, uh, him and another guy broke the world record. They reached 100 miles per hour in a single engine boat. And it was held for 50 years after that. Doing 100 miles an hour in that thing on water would be terrifying. Somehow, this thing has a rudder in the front and then an outrageously long prop shaft all the way to a single prop in the back. So far, this place is absolutely amazing. There are so many, so many cool, boats. cool boats. And, and whatever like, the heck this thing is. Check this out. This is a this is a prince personal barge, and yeah, it's pretty stylish. <laughs> There's something actually really interesting about this particular boat too, and I'm pretty sure it's not the only boat that does it, is among all the salt and sugar and dry goods, instead of uh, bringing gallons and gallons of milk, they actually just bring goats. They bring the goats on board and the goats will produce the milk for the officers. Transatlantic duckies don't know where they go. Some serious model making skills, man. Look at this thing. Can you imagine somebody, well, probably a team of people, actually went and put all of these little pieces together? 
and somebody actually made all these tiny little pieces the little cleats the little ladder the little nuts that hold the ladder together <laughs> This is actually the exact route that we want to do. It is after we cross Europe, we want to go down to Brazil and then to Chile and the Patagonias and then and then to the Pacific. Following the path of the endeavor. <laughs> Look, I'm super navigating. What you would do was go down those stairs under that arch out of the other entrance, then up the hill. Okay. And last admissions are by. This isn't the Greenwich Meridian line. Uh, it's more of a playground. <laughs> we're actually going to walk over. It's a little bit of a walk, but we're going to grab some coffee and head over there and get to the actual longitude zero degrees line. I've been in your waters. Been looking at your door. It's a long walk up a big hill. All right, you're out of breath already. Come on, you need to exercise more. We're here. I know one thing for sure. I've never been so close. Look at all these clocks. They took these, these are like gimbaled clocks that they took on the ships so that they could accurately tell time when they were sailing. And all of these clocks were set to the time that we're here today. That we're standing. Yeah. Th this Greenwich this Mean Time. This time. Yeah. This is Greenwich Mean Time right here. Right. This we're standing in Greenwich Mean Time, and all these clocks would be set to that. So basically. So that when the boat started sailing west or east, they could tell how many hours they've been sailing, and that gives you how many degrees of longitude you are around the world. That's why the prime meridian is such an important line. Yeah. It is um, basically longitude zero degrees exactly. and every single line from that point was measured exactly latitude's easy latitude is what a sextant was used for these guys here and that just gives you your position your angle to the sun but if you can tell high noon and how many hours you are at high noon you can tell exactly where you are in the world which is pretty cool is it me there's like this very thin like, squeaking sound from time to time it's you i think it might be me you, you never heard it no that's so weird so basically where we are right now is the Meridian line and it's the line, it's an imaginary line, although there is an actual line here. From that line, every other measurement is defined. So dating back almost 300 years, people have been trying to figure out exactly where that line is and um, each time new technology is invented, they are able to make it more and more accurate and today's line is the Prime Meridian line and it's quite accurate and it's right here. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed traveling with us today to where east meets west and has a lot to do with how navigation works out on the sea because it's longitude zero. Everything's measured from here. It was a little bit awkward to be standing there for 10 minutes while everybody's just like rambling around you taking pictures. Without but it was having fun. any idea about what's going on behind you. It's really windy and uh, it's getting kind of late in the day. We still have a long ways to go to get back to where we're staying tonight. but. Hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about the Prime Meridian and we certainly enjoyed being here because it is such a huge part of uh, nautical navigation is knowing exactly how far away you are from this line. Um, and without it, you there's, I mean, that's where latitude and longitude come from. That's the birth of it is right here. So and this is our last day in England. We're leaving tomorrow. So we're going to call this vlog an ending. So we're going to call this end. Yeah. Call this uh, done. I guess. <laughs> How do you say? We're, we're going to call this over. No. We're tired. <laughs> we're going to call this we need to go get coffee and then spend two hours on a train and then go to bed. Yep. So um, yeah, that's it for this episode and we'll see you tomorrow. Whoosh.